my goodness, I look like hell today, but that's okay. Anyway, today's episode, let's get on with it. Oh no, we're not going to get on with it yet because I need to give some thanks to a couple of people. I've got a few things in the mail as of recent. Um, had someone send me this. This is a, it's a thread inserter for blown spark plugs on the two valve Fords. However, in a very near future episode, I will be showing you guys how to not need this type of kit. There is a procedure that you can use where this is deemed unnecessary. Next order of business, we got this right here. I don't know if I can open this with one hand. I already know who this is from, so I will start while I'm opening this saying thank you to Sleazy's Garage for the hookup. And uh, actually, that is about to leave to head your way. Ah, yeah. Yes, sir, that's going to be making its way right up there. Shout out to Sleazy's Garage. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I will put this up here with my other favorite channels. Got to get her straight. Fits right in. And then I have some video. I'm going to show it to you right here. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking car. Check it out. Thank you very much, Charles, for sending that to me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Comment below if I'm wrong, but I believe that you said that you recently wrecked it and had to repaint and uh, do a little body work on it. Is that correct? Clear it up if I'm wrong <laughs> down below. We now join our regularly scheduled program, already in progress. So I'm back. You didn't even know I was gone. I just got done... Uh, doing all the maintenance on my daily driver change the oil rotate the tires and all that good business now it's time to get back in here and work on some fox today i'm going to do something that uh, i should have done a while ago this is a hood cable and this is for the 89 i bought this not because it has one broken and you're gonna have to forgive the the dust this really needs washed but yeah, even inside is filthy. So we'll be uh, removing these here and then uh, out there too. There's two screws here. One screw that holds it to the actual hood latch assembly out there. And we're gonna start out under the hood. You need to pull this through this way and then uh, push the new one in going that away. First thing we need to do is uh, pop that. When we get in here, I'll show you the reason that I'm replacing this thing. It is frayed and I'm just kind of, oh my gosh, this thing's filthy and it drives me insane. It's freezing outside. I just heated the garage up with the, the furnace and I don't know what we got to in here. We got to 60. Well, that's what I put it at. So yeah, that's good, right? Up in here, up uh, so between here and where it attaches, 
I found that it was frayed. So we're actually going to have to take this out. And I don't have a lot of room. But we're going to have to take this out. Get this one screw out of here. And then uh, fish this thing all the way through. Let's see. This. If I can get her on the, taking the battery out or not. This is it right here though. And it whittles its way through to here. So I really don't know. Uh, yeah, it looks like it uh, comes through right here. Some kind of hole. I don't know. I really don't want to take that battery out, but I will if I got to. So I think I'm going to take these two out. First, I'm going to get a dry erase marker. Go around this and just kind of mark this the best that I can because I don't want any permanent stuff on there, you know. And I'll just take this, bring it out, set it out here. I'm going to get a towel or something to set it on. Just Johnny disassemble it, get it all the way out, and uh, back through the other way. Something like that. All right, here's just an eight. I did go around that with a dry erase. Hopefully help us out. That was tight. This thing just pushes down and it goes, ah, uh, yeah, I was right. Okay, I need to go get something to set this on. All right, since I do believe this is a quarter, I just grabbed a screwdriver. I don't know if this doesn't work. I guess I won't uh, put this on the film, right? All right, screw is out. That's all it is. <clears throat> now for this, this just kind of wraps around this deal here. Okay, so we're out right there. I'm actually going to take this and just stick it right here on this box for right now. Yeah, I think this battery's going to have to come out. Darn it. Well, that's good. I was uh, not filming there. thought I was filming, talking to you. Our cable goes through right here in this little area. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. I was also mentioning that the battery has leaked on it in the past. So it is ugly. All right. That's basically where we're at. I don't know if you guys remember from last year, but I went through and redid all this. Um, got it redone with the white. Made it a little prettier than it was. Let's get under the dash now. All right, that's the best scenario I can come up with for you guys. I'm just going to take these bolts out real quick. and Yep, probably speed right through this with the fast motion, give you the music to listen to. Alrighty. Now we just go up and through right there. To uh, make things a little easier with reassembly, I'm going to stick something on the end of this. I'm going to make it so it's easy to pull the new cable back through. I have some fish tape I can probably use. Let's see what we can come up with. 
All right, so that's kind of what I came up with. Got a fish tape here. We're gonna, I don't know. We'll just see what we do. See how well this works. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? So I'm gonna take up some slack out of this thing right now. And we'll get this up here. Probably a good idea to have that battery out of there for this anyway, if I'm using that tape. stuck on here I think what's hanging us up is we got to get this grommet out of here and I don't see how both of us can be under here but that grommet is stuck in the firewall as I am putting this video together, I have just realized that somehow my camera, as I set it up, I must have hit the stop button because I don't have the footage anymore of the cable being pulled out from underneath the firewall. So I apologize, but here it is going back in. Sorry. Okay guys, now we got it all taped up and it's ready to pull back through the other way. Now it's just gonna be a matter of uh, finagling it through all this. Bada bing. All right, I'm gonna take all this off here and then bring you guys back in. Now we got that untaped, I'm gonna climb under here and get this. I'm gonna reassemble the inside here first, then I'll go back out. out of here now all right so this needs to go over the top of the strut tower and then through back behind this all right so through that opening right there and then down under this Across there, bam, here we are. Bob is your uncle. Now let's get this latch, bring it back over. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this back up. All you're doing is uh, putting around that thing there and then putting the screw in. Okay, I got that screw in there. Now we're gonna do this. Remember to slide that little lip under there if you're doing it the same way I am. Okay, that's pretty dang good. So what I'm gonna do before we go ahead and shut the hood to check, put that down and we'll pull on the thing and just make sure the release is okay. That it does, sweet. Looks. All right, now we'll uh, pop it again. Cool. It also moves a lot easier than it used to. All right, well, while you guys go ahead and uh, finish up the rest of this episode, I'm gonna put this battery in. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all the guys that are supporting me, helping me out. Uh, it, it's awesome. Um, just to give another shout out to Sleazy's. And I'd also like to give a shout out to Bone Shaker Garage. He's doing some great stuff too. Head over there, uh, bang on both their subscribe buttons and give them some love. Let's get them getting up 
in the subscriber count as well. Thanks for watching and, you know, enjoy your week.